I'm back. So, uh, finally the war zone is over in my neighborhood, so I might actually be able to shoot a video. <laughs> it was awfully loud here the last couple days, so I uh, didn't even bother. Uh, but, today I got home from work, uh, and I reached in the bucket of locks that Randy Perkins sent. Pulled out a very old lock. Um, these Welches are very old. Um, awesome locks. Um, I had one with a nasty, nasty keyway that I sent Zombie Lock um, a long time ago. Um, but they have really good tolerances um, from what I can remember. At least the one I did uh, had did. Uh, I think I picked a couple of them. Um, this one has a pretty high low there bidding. Um, but as far as I know, it's a stock lock that uh, Randy sent me, which is awesome because, uh, well, maybe I'll just turn it into a challenge lock. But uh, i got to pick it first, so um, I'm going to put it in the vise and hopefully we'll see if we can get into it. <clears throat> um, this one has a pretty standard keyway, more of a, almost like a quick set keyway. Um, I think the one I had uh, that I'd sent earlier to a zombie had one nasty, nasty keyway. Um, so, I'm going to grab my gem, I think, and see if I should be able to get it in there. Ooh, it's even kind of tight in there. There's a little bit of warding in there that I'm not seeing, but I'm feeling coming off of, uh, it's got a little bit more of a curve than I thought. <laughs> anyway, um, you know what, I got it in the vise. Let's make sure that that key turns. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it'll work. Okay. Um, very good. And, uh, let's grab top the keyway. Yeah, that'll work uh, from my West Coast picks. And um, go ahead and slide that in there. Apply some tension and pull forward, search for a binder. Okay, five, or, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this is a five pinner. Five. Okay, got to click on him a little bit on four. Three. Uh, I think that may have been an overset. No, two, gave me a little rotation, one, and it's open, okay, um, I think it's open, I don't think I got a false set, I'm going to find out here, yeah, it's open, okay, very good, yep, it is picked, um, at any rate, we just kind of put enough tension on it to follow the binding order from back to front, and it worked. Um, you can change the binding order on standard pens if you if you got a feeling that you got standard pens in there. You can change it um, by just applying really heavy tension <laughs> and uh, and forcing them all to bind, and then just uh, uh, picking them in whatever order you want, <laughs> which is kind of what I did. Um, so. Let's see here. Got to fill our straight blade. Let's um, get that off of there. Hopefully, no, that one's not going to work. I need a different screwdriver. Um, there we go. That one. Okay, I'm going to move you guys around. Square you up. There we go. And I'll show you guys the pins inside this lock. I'm pretty sure it's all standard. I didn't feel anything crazy, um, but at any rate. Um, if I'm going to pick a lock, I'm going to gut it usually. If it's guttable, I'm going to do it. That way you guys can see that all the pins were in and all that jazz. But you got to... Alright. And like I said, I didn't feel anything crazy, so we are not going to bother shimming it. Hopefully that one will fit. There we go. Pins were up. Okay. Um, that's interesting. It's got a uh, hole for a... Uh, sixth pin but that pin would be writing down the back there I think that might be for a um, construction hole I don't know and uh, oddly enough this looks like it may have been a challenge lock at one point um, I'm seeing some craziness in here um, that's very interesting wow um, I don't know if you guys can make that out but that is a t-pin in uh, <laughs> a T-pin key pin there and a uh, another reduced diameter in two. Um, wow, if this is a, yeah, because that's a tapered pin in one. Um, yeah, we're going to take a look at this a little bit closer. I didn't think this was a challenge lock. Um, however, um, I don't think they put T-pins in, uh, T-pin key pins in <laughs> standard locks. Um, that's very interesting. Um, that's just tapered. It's just a very tapered pen. 
that's really weird. Um, in fact, yeah, that's a standard, that's a standard, that one's tapered on top, and that one's tapered on top. Very interesting. Nothing done to the plug, all smooth up there. Um, wow, that was weird. Um, let's see here. I'm expecting all standards. Obviously, I didn't feel anything, so didn't give me a false set or anything. It's very dirty inside, though. Um, very old. Well, there it came. Looks like it's a, a balanced pen stack too, which is really cool. Um, you gotta like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all of the springs. Well, there's. Looks like there's three copper and two steel uh, in the front. Yeah, there's the three copper out the back. There's a steel in the front. And I may have to dig that last one out of two. I want to come out. Nope. Come out and I missed him. Oh, he bounced. He bounced. Yeah, he bounced up here. Maybe that. Yeah, he bounced right here. There he is. I was going to say there was two steel pins and three copper springs, or two steel springs and three copper springs. So somebody's been inside this lock, but overall it's all standard pins. Um, it is a five pinner. Um, there's only five pin capability in the uh, in the Bible so uh, even though there was six holes that last one being a construction hole for this uh, very interesting um, I'll zoom in for you guys maybe turn those sideways a little bit so you can see those uh, tapered pins on the uh, key pins of there we go turn those sideways you can see that those were very tapered in the uh, key pin positions of one, two, through one, two, and five. Uh, and then all all standards up top had uh, two uh, steel springs and three copper springs, uh, and that's what was inside this Welch that I got from uh, Randy Perkins. Thank you again for this lock. A uh, really cool old lock. Uh, I think I'll probably turn it into a challenge lock. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. And, well, don't break the law.